Assalamu alaikum Dear students I think you are well So this is gonna be the last class before the vacation And so far you will get uh, Around 15 days for each celebration So the, uh, we are passing a very crucial time uh, Still uh, it's a time of celebration So I think you will celebrate with uh, Enough precautions and as you are having much time, so you'll utilize your time and you'll stick to study. I, I, think I wish you will not waste your time doing unnecessary works. And uh, by the subject teachers, you will be given homework, vacation work actually. So I think you will do this, then uh, you'll get a good result in future. So in earlier class, we discussed rules of punctuation and today we'll see some other rules in capitalization. So punctuation and capitalization together uh, they make a grammar segment named punctuation and capitalization. You get a five marks task for this. So let's see actually what are the rules we to follow for this. First rule it says capitalize the first word in a sentence. So whenever you to start any sentence, that become first word you to capitalize capitalize it means first letter of the first word. Will be capital letter so it's very simple any first uh, letter of first word of a sentence it should be capital next it comes capitalize the names and nicknames of people so in other case we can say it is proper noun so if you find anyone's name or nickname that we term you to make it capital like you say I'm an uh, Rana Jyoti any person's name or nickname it should be capital then it says capitalize geographic names like Indian Ocean Hawaii then it comes Empire State Building so any geographical locations or geographical names you will capitalize those so you see if you write way of bengal it will be capitalized if you write down like uh, indian ocean it will be capitalized if you write like virginia uh, lack then it will be capital so rule three is uh, simply we to capital any geographical names of place or person whatever later it comes a very important one whenever we find the pronoun I anywhere then we do capital this anywhere uh, even if it is inside any quotation mark or in narration or in dice voice anywhere we find the pronoun I it should be capital so don't mess up with this don't make mistake in every cases we do capital I pronoun so so far rule four rule gone i repeat first it was we to capital the first word means uh, first letter of first word should be capital letter then capitalize the names and nicknames of people so any person's name or his nickname his or her nickname those should be capital also then we should capitalize geographical names of any place like Indian Ocean, Hawaii, Empire State Building, or any anything could be the Taj Mahal, Bay of Bengal, uh, Sundarbans, this much. And fourth one is very important. It was like we to capitalize I pronoun. So I think you are getting this, and these are very silly in some cases, but still uh, we make mistake with this, so we should learn this with much care. next it comes capitalize the names of day months this much so we find actually if you find anywhere day month this much so we to capitalize this also so this is also very silly uh, we find it everywhere so simply we to capitalize day's name month's name this much like tuesday here october here we should capitalize this next it comes 
capitalize the names of national, religious, or local holidays. Chapter Rule Five. It comes to Rule Six, and it says we should capital capitalize the names of national, religion, or religious or local holidays. Like we find here Memorial Day, Easter, Founders Day, Christmas Day, Eid Day, this much. So, Rule Six simply we should capitalize national, religious, and local holidays rule 7 says we to capitalize proper adjectives like France Chinese Punjabs Indians this much so if you find any proper uh, adjective that be term we will capitalize the word So you got two examples here, French, Chinese. This is a very simple. Rule eight says capitalize titles used with names, like any designation or title, like General Bradshaw, Mrs. Rima, this much. So rule eight says we to capitalize title or designation. Next it comes rule 9. Rule 9 says capitalize the first word in the greeting or closing of a letter. So what are these? Dear friends, we start application or email in this way or yours truly or sincerely yours this much. So we to capitalize this much also. Next it comes capitalize the first last all the main words in the title of a book movie song magazine play newspaper or television show so whatever the length or uh, how long the length of a movie's title book's name show's name cinema's name it doesn't matter those should be capital you see that um, here Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone this much the national anthem so books name magazines name like the daily nation the daily star so books name magazines name newspapers name um, holy books name those should be capital Then it comes rule 11 capitalize the names of organizations, associations, or teams and their members. So, any institution, organization, association, teams, members, those should be capital. Like here, we got two examples American Red Cross Parents Teacher Association. So, you see, everywhere we are using capital letter. So, parent teacher association next it comes capitalize historical events documents and periods of time like Boston Tea Party declaration of independence this much civil war middle ages so historical events documents or periods of time should be capital Next it comes capitalize initials or abbreviations that stand for, uh, stand for names and also abbreviations of title organizations like America, ARTX, Dallas, Texas, this much. Last one, next one, capitalize the first word of a quoted sentence means uh, Direct speech, what you use whenever you, uh, you produce someone's, uh, you write someone's exact speech, that be term, first letter should be uh, capitalized, means first letter there should be capitalized, means inside the quotation mark it should be capital.
Okay. 